piece is called Moments Contained, and it's a fictional female character. The age is ambiguous. Um, she's young, but it's, it's hard to tell exactly how old she is. Being a fictionalised character, she's sort of I've drawn upon various different references, but there's a certain sort of stance and poise and an attitude to her, which I think you know a lot of people are going to recognise in the sculpture. They probably recognise it themselves or in people they know. And I think that's one of the things about Moments Contained is that it's it's supposed to really connect to all of us and and make us aware of the moments that we inhabit, whether it's with ourselves, these kind of moments inside our own heads almost. The figure itself stands with hands sort of in the pockets. So you can see the knuckles slightly sort of pressing through the fabric. And I think there's also this sort of sense of containing oneself and the sort of that potential energy that's there and that kind of the, the emotion or the psychological sort of um, tension that's just kind of ready to sort of emerge from this piece. The scale of this work is really there to sort of challenge our current understandings of monuments and our current understandings of monumentality and, and again like throughout much of my practice to really explore, investigate and critique this idea of status and value within society. So who does society value? Who gets to be seen? Who gets to be represented? I've often put works in public spaces because I love the sort of that, the element that that brings to it. The idea of something, something appearing in a, in a public space with a, a non-art audience who then feel very enabled to comment upon that work and, and makes, it makes people aware of the things that surround us, you know, that have surrounded us for centuries, you know, thousands of years. These images of powerful men. You know, this is a sculpture about statues. And I think really, you know, well, I hope that people will, will notice it, you know, will take that second look. These works are trying to connect to people and doing so in a way that shows empathy and shows sort of a different approach to how we represent ourselves, society, and, and what our values are. So like, you know, do we value people, you know, literal individuals who've done seemingly great things? Like who gets to say what that great thing is? Who gets to choose who this person is? It's, it's really about trying to make people look a little bit deeper. And from perhaps from different perspectives about the things that we've taken for granted. Connecting this work to historical works through the material is an important way to, to make the viewers more aware of, of what we've been told, you know, about power, materials and, and value.